Turning now to the forecast, crews are working to restore power to thousands after last night's storms. I love this time lapse. It really gives you an idea of how those storms rolled in. This is a great view. And now many are without power in a number of locations. Mm -hmm. I can say in Franklin County, it's about 6,000. We've been hearing from Kevin mm -hmm. talking about that. So mm -hmm. hopefully they'll get that restored soon. It got dark real fast last night. Sure did. That was a mean line of storms, mm -hmm. capitalized and bold mean line of storms, but uh, it did roll through and it's out of here now. So we can all kind of breathe a sigh of relief, mm -hmm. thankfully. Uh, here's a live look outside here with our 10 TV tower cam. Good morning, everybody. I don't know. Oh yeah, it's happy Friday to everybody as well. We're looking at current conditions, actually pretty nice out there right now. Temperature coming in at 66 in the city of Columbus and dew points have dropped a little bit since last night. We were real muggy. We were just prime for thunderstorms yesterday evening, but all of that has uh, quieted down a northwest wind now behind the front at five miles per hour. What does it feel like in your neck of the woods? Well, we're actually seeing some upper 50s this morning, believe it or not, looking at 58 in Circleville currently. Uh, it's 61 in Kenton, 61 in Marion, Delaware, 63. McConnellsville, good morning to you, 62. 62 in Chillicothe and uh, Athens also sitting at 62. So very comfortable for many of us as we're all kind of waking up, rubbing our eyes a little bit and uh, saying, thank goodness those storms are out of here uh, since late last night. We are seeing a little bit of fog forming in some of our locations. Now, most of us will not see the fog like what we saw the last couple of days, but if you're going to be traveling out east, we're seeing some dense fog out towards Zanesville. Some lower visibilities down along 33, it looks like from Lancaster down towards Logan. So you may encounter some fog if you're traveling, say, from Columbus down to some of the higher terrain that maybe Hawking Hills. And then you can actually see just a little bit of fog as well down towards Piketon and heading into Jackson. This is your hour by hour forecast. It's going to be a beautiful day today. We're looking at temperatures starting off in the mid 60s, comfortable with sunny skies, unless you're seeing a little bit of fog. But most of us will be sunny to start. And then later this afternoon, just kind of a mix of sun and clouds. Beautiful day. High temperatures only in the upper 70s. Now we talked about this yesterday, how once we got through with the cold front, once we got done with the storms, we would have lower humidity and cooler air moving behind the cold front. And that's exactly what we're seeing happening across the state of Ohio this morning. Not only that, but we've got completely clear skies and that is how we will stay as high pressure sinks in for the next couple of days. Sinking air makes it real hard for storms to pop up. So this is your hour by hour forecast. You'll see that as we go through the afternoon, here's noon today. Area wide, we're looking at lots of sunshine, a little bit of a north breeze. Oh, it is going to feel so good today. Five o'clock rolls around. We're in the upper 70s, also into the low 80s. And as we go through tonight, a couple of passing clouds. No rain, though, tonight. And then as we go into our Saturday, models want to paint in a shower or maybe a thunderstorm for tomorrow. But most of us will be dry with tomorrow's rain chance at about 20%. All right, again, today's forecast. Make some plans. Get out and about. Beautiful, mostly sunny skies. Looking at temperatures to be in the upper 70s. So a very comfy day for us today. And Let's take a look at your 10 day forecast here because not only are we pretty today, we're also gorgeous heading into the weekend, both Saturday and Sunday featuring mostly sunny skies, only a slight chance of rain. We do jump our temperatures a little bit though as we go from Saturday to Sunday. This will be closer to average as we head into Sunday. And then if you're looking for some more thunderstorms, perhaps you like them. We're looking at a uh, slight chance of rain and storms for our Tuesday. And then by the end of next week, we're looking at more organized showers and thunderstorms.